Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. In this video, we are going to talk about an important function in Power BI and that is unpivot. While creating reports in Power BI, you will come across certain scenarios where you will have to convert the columns into rows. In such cases, if you didn't know that you could use unpivot function, you will end up writing so many tax queries. So to avoid all that headache, to avoid writing all those excessive tax queries, you can simply use unpivot function there. If you use unpivot function in those cases, it will reduce your effort to at least 80%. So let's look at an example of where to use this unpivot and how to do that. Let's get into my laptop. Here is an example. If you look at my screen here, on the left hand side, you have year and month names as columns. Okay, when you are writing something, when you are displaying something on an Excel, it makes perfect sense to have data in this format. When usually you get all the Excel files in this format because it's easier to understand. Okay, but if you want to create reports using this format of data, if you want to create reports using this format of data, then it is not possible. You have to convert these columns into rows. You have to convert it into this format. So here you have year, month and sales. All months will be in one column and sales will be another column. So you have to, you need to put the data in this format to create all the visualizations in Power BI. So let's see how to create that in Power BI. Here I opened the Power BI desktop and I also loaded the data from the Excel sheet into the Power BI desktop here. So on the right hand side you have the sheet one here where I have year and the month names. I am I will now open the uh, query. So here you have this Power Query editor open. Now what you need to do is now you have all the month names here so what you need to do to unpivot this is you just have to click on the year and say unpivot other columns because here you are not going to change this you are not going to change the format of you are not going to unpivot the year because it this is what you want 2019 20 and 21 these are all the rows you just want it as is so you will be unpivoting the other columns right so you right click on this year column and you say unpivot other columns and that's all. Now you have all the columns, all the now you have all the month names in one column and you have all the sale count in another column. Now you can just rename this. You, you just double click on the column name and you can rename that. I'm renaming this as month name and this one I'm renaming this as save count and that's all now my data set is ready and also I have the data in proper format to use in Power BI visualizations so this is about unpivot in Power BI if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe I will also try my best to come up with certain examples and certain scenarios to help you understand much better. See you in the next video. Thank you.